the defense research and development organization successfully conducted a flight test of the phase 2 ballistic missile defense system on 24th july 2024 this is an important step towards demonstrating india's bmd capability during this test drdo had first launched the target missile which started approaching towards its objective for a kill there were weapon system radars in place on both land and sea for the purposes of identifying the incoming threat they detected the incoming target missile and a warning was given to the ad interceptor system the response was very quick and in no time the phase 2 ad indo atmospheric missile was launched and a perfect intercept of the target missile took place the time between the launch of the target missile and interception getting carried out was only 4 minutes this short time frame emphasizes the need for quick detection tracking and autonomous decision making by the bmd system to identify the correct battery to be used for undertaking interception and executing the kill it is expected that in the event of any potential nuclear attack from the pakistani side india's bmd system could have a maximum 5 minute of early warning hence drdo was required to factor in the brief early warning time in their design for this test drdo's bmd structure included long range sensors a low latency communication system the mission control center and advanced interceptor missiles for all these years the focus of system development has been towards enhancing the speed accuracy and reliability of the entire bmd architecture for this purpose various developments were happening in fields of radar technology advancements sensor networks interceptor missile development and command and control systems hello and welcome to news affairs before we proceed further we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed if you find the video informative please like and share the video india's two adversaries namely pakistan and china are nuclear weapon states they have a potent missile force and some of their missiles are capable of carrying nuclear warheads obviously india has no other option but to develop its missile defense system since 1999 onwards drdo has been working towards the development of an indigenous ballistic missile defense program drdo is developing a bmd system with two clear focus areas one a system that operates inside the earth's atmosphere called the endo atmospheric region which is 40 kilometers above the ground level and two a system that operates outside the earth's atmosphere called the exo atmospheric region which is between 50 to 180 kilometers above the ground level this is because the trajectory of most ballistic missiles takes them both inside and outside the earth's atmosphere and they can be intercepted in either place hence the requirement of two types of systems bmd development programs do take a significant amount of time usually a few decades and hence in order to fulfill the immediate strategic requirements india is taking russian help to provide a robust shield against various aerial threats india has inducted the russian systems called s300 and s400 around a decade ago six batteries of s300 surface to air missiles were procured this system can engage various aerial threats including aircraft and missiles india has deployed the s300 pmu2 variant which is an upgraded version of the s300 system india wants to have next generation s400 systems too the s400 systems began arriving in india by late 2021 russia delivered the first three squadrons by late 23 but around 2 to 3 years delay is expected owing to the ukraine war for the delivery of the remaining 3 units the system may be delivered possibly by august 2026 india's bmd program has evolved over the years with various technologies getting developed and tested towards building a bmd architecture in the process drdo was required to develop various technologies including component development radar seekers motors jet wings structures and missile control software for the conduct of interception 
Various public and private sector agencies and companies are also contributing to this mission for BMD development. Phase 1 of this program was essentially more about technology development and testing, which lasted till 2019. Simultaneously, work was also happening on the development of Phase 2. Two new anti-ballistic missiles, AD-1 and AD-2, were getting developed. Initially, the focus was more towards the development of the Prithvi air defense system. Various tests have been conducted so far during the last two decades towards building an architecture for missile defense. It is expected that future frontline ships of the Indian Navy will also be equipped with this missile system. It will take some more time and a few more tests to fully operationalize the entire BMD system. The presence of missile defense systems significantly bolsters India's defense capabilities and contributes to enhancing its strategic posture. The recent success of DRDO with the BMD test needs to be analyzed against this backdrop. Jai Hind!